Great, so thank you so much for having me. I'm actually gonna just go ahead and share my screen for a moment. Um, so I'm gonna share with you about Roots and Routes Intercultural Collaborations. And um, this is our website. This is the little intro slide. So um, I'm just bringing this up to share with you our kind of vision statement as an organization. So we facilitate sharing knowledges and compassion between diverse cultures on a route to responsibly stewarding a flourishing living world. And these videos and images are from the indigenous community of San Clemente in the Andes Mountains of Northern Ecuador. And that is one of the primary communities that we work with on the ground. And um, then this is from the communities of the Choco Rainforest who have been fighting against the expansion of palm oil um, in their biodiverse jungles for a few decades. And our vision is a thriving indigenous led and youth inspired educational reciprocity network that teaches the world that we are worth more than the resources below our feet. And this is sort of speaking to <clears throat> the issue of, of like um, oil palm expansion and also copper mining and many of the challenges that are facing indigenous communities in Ecuador and also elsewhere around the world. And our movement, we're, 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 we envision a movement where um, indigenous communities can be teachers and also um, have their their communal and cultural resources valued rather than just like the mineral resources or or their um, the resources in their territory. So I'm going to stop sharing um, and just speak a little bit more about our organization. So Roots and Routes has a few different, um, there are a few different components that makes up Roots and Routes. And one of our main things is that we have an online uh, platform called the Youth Visionary Collective. And it's a Zoom space where youth interns from around the world come together to um, actually do weekly interviews with indigenous, um, with members of different indigenous communities from around the world. And from those interviews that we conduct in the Zoom space, we create online educational content, in including pod podcasts, blogs, and social media posts. And we're also creating an online um, educational platform called the Pluriversity. And the Pluriversity highlights diverse traditional knowledges and ways of life. Um, and it's in opposition to this concept of a university, which, which um, is the Western, like highlights the Western model of understanding the world. So in this online space, we're, we're um, working to create content and offer this to a broad um, body of students. And um, yeah, also one other aspect of the pluriversity is that we're teaching about concepts um, surrounding decolonization. So decolonizing knowledge by uplifting and highlighting traditional knowledges and diverse voices from around the world. And um, we are also right now on the way to um, uh, develop, developing and offering in-person programs in Ecuador, where we'll bring students to these to the communities that we work with on the ground. Um, also conducting interviews with community members and allowing the, allowing the community members to teach the youth um, students who come to on the on the exchange programs. And then um, from those interviews, creating more online content for the Pluriversity platform and for our social media platforms. And at current, at the, at the present moment, these projects, the Pluriversity platform and our um, pilot programs, our exchange programs on the ground are are developmental and we'll be testing them first with our interns in the Youth Visionary Collective. And then we're looking to expand our audiences and offer these courses for youth from high schools and universities in the United States and also around the world. Um, yeah, and so my question is around um, if you have any ideas for where we can get funding for these pilot programs, for the exchange programs, um, and also how we can best connect with the youth in your communities. Mm, thank you. Nice job. If anyone wants to clap or celebrate Griffin. Um, and yeah, that's a really beautiful. Feels like there's a lot of like beautiful roots taking taking form there um, and possibilities of what this could grow into. So um, thank you for being here and, and doing this work in the world. Um, yeah. Really, really great. Um, 